today is May 5th. I have a, a divide that I got about the 15th of April. It was from a hive that hadn't been treated this spring for mites. We did find some mites uh, on some uh, drone brood when we were making the divide. I want to check and see what our mite situation is and see if we need to treat it. What I'm going to do is use a, a method that uh, is promoted by Dr. Marlo Spivak. It was in the American Bee Journal uh, December of, of 2010. And what we'll do is uh, be taking a sample of bees and do a sugar shake on them. So let's hope the bees are nice enough that I don't have to put a veil on. feeder I'm taking off. The hive looks to be doing real well. It's ready for a second box. a nice frame of uh, pollen and honey, the out edge. What we want to work with is a frame of cap brood. The reason we want cap brood is because we're going to shake the bees off and use them and we don't want the queen. And this one, it looks like it's got capped on one side, but emerged on the other side. So let's keep going until we find the prey that we want. It looks like we got lots of eggs and brood as we go along here. This one looks better. I'll take a double shot here to make sure we don't have the queen in here. What I'm going to do is shake the bees in this pan that I have. And then they call for 42 hundredths of a cup of bees. I'm not going to be quite that scientific on it. But I have a half cup measure, so it'll be a little less than a, than a half cup. And then we'll put the bees into this mason jar with the sifter lid on it. Lifter lid on. It's just a mason jar, and then I have a piece of eighth-inch hardware cloth that I've put over the top of it. The recipe calls for about two tablespoons or one hive tool worth of powdered sugar that we put on it. And it says the bees are supposed to be ghosts. So as you can see, they're really covered in there. So we leave them covered. We put them in the shade. 
so they don't get hot. Then I'll put the queen back. Or not the queen back, put the frame back. Put her high back as it was. All these frames are covered and they're laying brood clear out to the edge. So they're ready for a second box. Looks pretty clean. So we're ready in there. And I think it's been about a minute. Well, I like what I see so far. I think we have pretty well shaken out there. I will put them back in the hive. And your sisters will clean them up. Boy, <laughs> they're pretty ghostly. Come on, get off of there. Come on. Well, I couldn't see any any uh, any mites at all on those that I shook off. They say to put a little bit of water in to dissolve your powdered sugar. And I think I see one up here is one mite. So that's the sugar shake test. The time that we need to be really concerned about mites you don't want mites in the summer because it does slow them down. But if you have an infestation of mites going into the winter, your hive will die. So I think we look okay for this one. Um, we'll let these girls get back to work and I'll put a new box on for them.